Hey there guys and gals, Melodic Symphony here, and welcome back to some more of The Roommates. Now, I'm just hoping that my video doesn't corrupt this time. I'm running on a new, um, running on a new couple of things, and I had an issue with recording another video of a portal, and it could just be that the portal is like really uncompatible with Camtasia, but when I tried recording it the other day, it decided to practically kill my computer. And um, after five minutes of restarting my computer, I didn't have any of the save files. So hopefully this works. <laughs> Cause if it's not, I'm gonna be super sad. I've gotten all my grades back and I did fantastic. I was a little worried that I wouldn't be able to keep up my grades with all the craziness around here, but I've done pretty well. Still, being in this new place has been a little draining. I admit, I miss my home sometimes. I may be trying to grow past it, but well, it is still my home. That's why I was so excited when my parents called to offer me tickets home. They even offered me two tickets, just in case I didn't want to leave one of my friends behind. Now I just have to get all of my packing done. This is going to be a great winter break. I was a little surprised my parents offered me two tickets. They practically fought me tooth and nail when I told them I wanted to leave home to study. I think I made my case pretty well. It must have been it must have gone even better than I thought if they're honestly offering to let two people come. I guess I should figure out who I want to ask. I mean, I'm glad I've made friends, but I don't know if the people here know me that well yet. So this could be a real test. I think I've done pretty well, but is this the kind of thing people would be okay with? I've never actually gone on a trip with someone who wasn't in my family. Heck, I've never really been on trips in general. Still, nothing else for it. I really do have to figure out what to do. Knock, knock. Oh, Sally, you startled me. Sorry about that, Anne. Hey, do you, um, do you have... Sally looks around nervously after making sure the hall is clear. She shuts the door. Shuts the door, sorry. Do you have Vegemite's bone in here? Have you seen it? Um, I don't... Oh, oh god. I don't think so. Why would it, um, be here? Sorry, sorry. Last time you all left, I let him out to run around the place, and he went into some of your rooms. I'm just praying he didn't leave it in Dominic's. I can't help but chuckle a little bit at her plight. It's amazing she managed to keep the little puppy a secret for so long. Oh, so what's got you packing up? Going home for the holidays? Yep. My parents were even nice enough to spring for a couple tickets. <laughs> I guess they miss me too. <laughs> huh, I guess so. Wait, a couple? Oh, yeah. They said a friend could come along if they wanted. I thought it might be nice to have someone from my new home see my old home, you know? Oh, yes. It can be very enlightening to see where a person comes from. I almost wish I can go. I can't leave my poor puppy alone, though. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Well, yes, it'd be cruel not to take care of him, and he'd probably miss you. I'll ask one of the others, though. Oh, maybe some quality time with Max or Dominic? Sally! I'm just teasing. Have fun, Anne. I have to find the bone before Dominic does. I'm all nervous about asking people to come with me. I don't want them to take it the wrong way. Then again, it might be kind of nice to spend some quiet time alone with one of them. Now it now it doesn't even give me the option of Isabella because I guess I didn't level up enough in her stat. Oh well. <laughs> so there are prerequisites to this one of like actual how much they have to like you by this point. Oh well. Wow. I like the little guitar riff. It's cheesy, but it's fun. Thinking about it, especially after Sally mentioned him, Dominic has been nothing but helpful to me since I got here. Sometimes I even feel like he's interested in being more than helpful. I don't know how, though. I don't know, though, sorry. Still, I think it'd be nice to have him along with me. After making sure Sally's not around on her quest, I knock on Dominic's door. Yeah, come in. He sounds distracted, but I open the door anyways. I quietly knock again as I enter. Is, um, is this a bad time? Oh, Anne. No, no, come in. It's fine. I was just doing a little farming online. Oh, in your game again. Yeah, when classes are out, is a great time to get some of this stuff done. I have a lot of free time for the next week or so. <laughs> what can I do for you? He presses a few keys on his computer and his game disappears. Oh, you didn't have to stop on my account. I just had a quick question if you're busy. 
Oh, no, no, you have my attention, Anne. I can play that anytime. If you need something, I'm here to help. Actually, I was, um, wondering if you were free this week, or, um, if you had plans. No, not really. I was, this was pretty much all I was going to do. Just relax a bit. Well, the thing is, my family got me two tickets. They said I could bring someone home with me, and I wondered if, maybe, um, if you wanted to come. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Gosh, this is kind of sudden. When did we have to, when do we have to be ready? The tickets are for 11 a.m. tomorrow, so you have to t tonight to pack up some things. All right, sounds good. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll pack. Wow, meeting your parents already, huh? Dominic. Sorry, sorry. This will be fun. Thanks a lot, Dominic. I'll come get you tomorrow, okay? Definitely. Back in my room, I still have a lot of packing to finish up. I call my parents to let them know that Dominic is coming with me. They seem excited to meet one of my friends and say they'll have a bed all set up. Luckily, my room is still waiting for me. I half expected them to have converted into another office or something by now. I'm happy they haven't, though. I get off the call feeling pretty good about my decision and finish packing in just a few hours. I'll admit, I don't really sleep that well, too excited, but I manage to get enough rest that I'm not totally groggy the next day. We catch a cab to the airport and then Dominic and I board our plane and we're off. We chat amiably during the plane ride and we even manage to doze off a little. My mom and dad meet us at arrivals and take us out for a nice dinner. Since it's already a bit late in the day now, oh, take us out for a nice dinner since it's already a little bit late in the day now. At last, properly fed, we come back to the house I grew up in. A nice couple of rounds of board games later and my parents are ready to call it a night. See, it's the exact same room just flipped. That's cheating. Like, they didn't even change it. It's cheating. 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 No. They head off to bed as I show Dominic to the guest room. And this is where you'll be sleeping, Dominic. I hope my parents didn't give you too hard a time. They kind of grilled you a bit there. Oh, don't worry about it. I imagine I would have had the same questions for a much older man my daughter brought home. I really didn't want them to get the wrong idea. I guess I failed on that. <laughs> No, really, it's okay. They're perfectly nice people. I can see how you came up so polite. I had fun today, Anne. Really. En enter! Jeez! I'm glad. I was a little worried about bringing you here, but I think it's working out nicely so far. I, um... I'm actually really happy you invited me. Well, you're welcome, Dominic. I was just thinking about how helpful and nice you've been. I'm glad it's been fun for you, too. Well, really, I mostly wanted to get to know you better. I mean, we've been pretty good. We've been on pretty good terms this quarter, but you've been great to have at the dorm, especially amongst all the other party animals. Thanks for putting in a good word with my parents, by the way. We both laughed, remembering how much they grilled him about making sure my grades stayed up. I think your grades did enough talking for themselves, but you really are a good student. I'm always happy to talk up a good. I'm always happy to talk up a good student. I smile at the compliment as Dominic stretches a bit, putting his overnight bag down on the bed. Wow, you're almost like a different person here, Anne. So much more confident. He chuckles and I actually blush a little. I'm sorry, have I been rude? No, not at all. I, well, I like it. I'm glad you've got the confidence in you. You should have it more often. I guess I'm just back in my comfort zone. I know my parents sheltered me. I mean, I'm an only child. Overprotective is probably an understatement. I guess after a while, it started getting harder for me to leave my comfort zone. I always had a hard time making friends, too, studious, I guess. Well, you made friends pretty easily at Latin House. I don't know. I'm glad you're all so nice. <laughs> and we're all glad you're so nice. I take a few steps closer to Dominic. He's right. I'm feeling more confident in my comfort zone. And I'm happy he's here with me in it. I'm glad you've been watching out for me. You've made my first quarter a lot more pleasant. Dominic grins, blushing slightly. It's quite cute. It's nice to have someone else out of their comfort zone for a change. Dominic pats the bed next to him. Have a seat? No. <laughs> if that was an answer, just no. And then just walks out. Oh, God.
I sway my hips a bit as I saunter over towards the bed. Dominic visibly swallows as I sit down next to him. You've been hanging out with Isabella. I immediately start blushing and giggling a bit. <laughs> well, paying attention anyways, she certainly gets a lot of guys looking her way. <laughs> well, you've definitely got me looking your way. He reaches up, placing a hand on my shoulder. I look up into his eyes as he searches my face. He starts to lean in, and just for a moment, I prepare myself to kiss Dominic, but at the last second, I put my head on his shoulder. He's probably disappointed. The tension screws up in my stomach, and I should apologize, but he feels so good here, and I don't want to speak yet. It feels like an eternity, but it probably wasn't a second before I feel Dominic hug me close, placing his other arm around me. We stay like that for a while, his head on mine as he his head on mine as he holds me. He almost, he feels almost hesitant, but his arms are strong. Finally, with a long, happy breath, I start to get up. Dominic gives me a final squeeze as I, as I sit away from him for a moment. I should probably get to bed. Yeah, yeah, I guess I should get some sleep. I know I'll be having pleasant dreams. I managed only to let a small smile cross my face. I certainly feel like shouting, but something tells me that that's not how normal people react. <laughs> me too. I head back to my old bedroom, feeling fairly good about myself. Coming back home was good for me, I'm sure. If nothing else, it showed me that I made the right decision going away for college. Seeing Dominic's reaction to my hometown and my parents, it's definitely made me feel better about my little town. But I know I'm meant to be somewhere bigger, and that I'm meant to be out there in the world. As I get back to bed, I reflect on my new friends and smile. I know I'll be back with them all soon, especially Dominic and all the fun things that the next quarter will bring. Woot! This has been a really good week. Probably one of the best weeks ever. Being back home has really refreshed me. My parents are a little rough. They even tried to talk me into just staying. But I feel like I can return to school and get back to my books now. I can't wait to start back up again. I even managed to have a great Christmas. Dominic and I spent quite a bit of time away from my parents and got to see the few sights around town there are. Mostly we just talked and enjoyed each other and enjoyed each other's company. Okay. Um yeah, I'm gonna end that one here. Um that was actually a fairly short episode, so I'm probably gonna record a second one after this and just try to get a little ahead of myself since um i have a bad habit of being behind um um hmm. yeah that's actually it for now thank you guys so much for watching leave a like comment or subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you all in the next one bye